All right, this was a surprise, guys. This is what I wanted to bring since long. Uh, I think I was telling you guys when we did the video last with the S1000 RR. So yeah, I just took the HP4 out of my garage yesterday and brought it to the warehouse. Yeah, it's been long. The weather in Michigan just turned nice. Uh, so it, I think it marks the, the start of the riding season for us. But there have been a few changes to the bike. I've had this bike since 2014 and it's been like a, a garage queen, like an, a, one of the garage queens, I would say. Uh, it's, it's very nice, much, much easier to ride, or I should say very comfortable to ride and uh, everything else is top notch on the bike so i'll go over like what all we we have changed on this bike uh, very i've done very very subtle changes uh, as i said like because i work used to work for the oems so i i wanted the bikes to be as close to the oems as possible because there's like a much bigger r d involved but look at this so our front windscreen is a pooch going a little bit down if you see we have the brembo calipers here uh, i just put the or changed the brake pads this season and we did the dual centered from the brembo uh, it had the echo sato before but i think as soon as we parted ways from importing echo sato we just uh, stuck to brembo which is more reliable and a better known brand what you see at the back again is evo tech radiator and oil cooler guard let me zoom in uh, so evotech we have been importing these uh, products for a long time now it's one of our best sellers and i do trust them uh, with all their um, radiator guard fit and finish so that's what we have on the hp4 so over here we have the rhizoma front turn signals uh, we have these in stock uh, they are not the sequential ones that we get these days uh, but like this is another good example or a good model uh, to f to put on the on the motorcycle especially the color matches the hp4 blue as well uh, the rims are again forged aluminum no changes on that side these are stock hp4 one change that comes in the hp4 apart from like many other changes is this um, lower fairing or the belly pan uh, which is full carbon fiber from Ilmberger. Uh, the S1000 RR just gets the regular plastic uh, belly pan or the fairings going all the way to the bottom. So it does not have a full uh, belly pan. It just have, has two plastic fairings on both the sides. Um, so this one we had to match with the entire uh, carbon fiber scheme on the bike. Uh, a few changes again here and there. So everybody knows Geely's is again a supplier for uh, BMW. So we have the stock Geely's um, brake and clutch levers, which are the ones that you can basically turn on the side as well. For the clutch and brake lever guards, we went with the BMW motor. I mean, they are made by Geely's. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But then they have the special embossing which says it's a BMW HP4 part. So we, we got this installed. Going on the on the back, again a carbon fiber side fairing. I should call it the, the upper side fairing that goes on the bike. So we have this from Ilmberger. Um, the, the frame sliders on this bike are from Light Tech. Again, the only reason was like it had a blue uh, contrast for the color. One nifty little change that we have. Um, so if you remember, or if you want to check the video on YouTube, I can share the link. So for the um, S1000, we had the GB Racing covers uh, or the engine cover set. Um, for this one, we chose the BMW HP part as well. Now, to be honest, 
we did source it but i don't know if this is also manufactured by gillies i think it should be but i don't see any uh, gillies logo or embossing so I, i'll just keep it keep this item open if anybody needs i can get it for for you guys uh, but like uh, just for now i don't know what the exact manufacturer is going at the back here you see it's a full acrylic which titanium exhaust with a catalytic converter all in titanium the color has changed as well it's it's been with me for like last maybe 9 years now wow to 2014 wow so i just added a carbon fiber akrapovich uh, exhaust hanger to the bike uh, to match the again the colors and everything like the carbon finish to ilmberger and the akrapovich ski same we bought the uh, ilmberger carbon fiber rear tire hugger okay i just walk to the other side now just to show the difference on this side for the clutch cover that we have it's a very subtle addition it looks really good comes from bmw factory so the bike also does have an addition of uh, carbon fiber on the rear foot pegs or foot set uh, and if we go at the back i think there's one more addition that we did uh, which was like removing the the rear turn signals the addition that we did was remove the rear turn signals and integrate that to the the tail light look at how the rhizoma works looks clean and then how the rear set works so it's an integrated turn signal inside the inside the rear uh, light need a lot of capacitance and changes but it looks neat really neat So one last thing that I want to do is just start the bike for you guys. And then we'll call it good and then I am planning to do one more video uh, which will be just a a side by side comparison of the S1000 and the HP4. And the the two that we have uh, are basically the same model years. So there's not much difference apart from the DDC, the dynamic damping control. really adore this feature i love it like this was the the foundation for the ddc on all the bmw motorcycles after the generation like 2015 onwards and this was also the foundation for all the manufacturer in fact like aprilia started their dynamic damping control on the factory models after bmw came out with this uh, ducati did the same thing yeah let's start it up guys that's about it uh, if you have any hp4 questions for us uh, please message us or email us uh, you can give us a call as well if you have any other questions uh, regarding any parts that you need for this motorcycle or your motorcycle then again feel free to message us we'll be happy to connect 